Hi, this is Box. I'm back playing Minecraft on Realms Malik, a private Minecraft multiplayer server. Uh, it's Easter, and Cavolta has set up an Easter egg hunt. Um, let me just check that I've installed the uh, resource pack. Yeah, so there's a resource pack um, for the Easter eggs, basically. Uh, so I'm looking for baskets and eggs around spawn. Yeah, so there are 20 Easter egg baskets around spawn. So I'm gonna search all of the, uh... uh all of the, uh, obvious places. Like, I'm pretty sure Baum has checked the amphitheater. Uh, there's a guy here. Comes to the RID, RID director. Is he aware of the vendor machine? Yes, I am aware of the vendor machine. A vending machine for Enderman. And it looks amazing. So my security system has detected a recent activity in the building. Um, looking for Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Oh, so Baker Bell has found two with eggs. That's a lot. Let's check this empty room. Oh god, there's nothing! I want to at least find a basket, because I'm fairly certain there's a custom block model for it. Nothing. Aww. Okay, there's none in the library. Oh, here's one right here. So that's what the model looks like. Pretty fancy. And this one's already been looted, of course. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Go grab an ice cream. Lots of cake in Thungan's house. So if there are 20 hidden around spawn... I, uh, I'm never gonna find one. Um, oh well. Huh. That looks like almost like a, a VIP area. <laughs> Interesting! <laughs> Interesting idea for, uh, something. I'll have to remember that. Nope, no Easter eggs here. Oh, and there's a zombie coming from a billion miles away. What the heck, man? What the heck, Minecraft? Leave me alone, zombies. I kind of wish the difficulty in Minecraft uh, affected more than just basically how hard um, mobs hit and how hard you hit mobs. Like, I wish it, the uh, difficulty affected their AI as well, their tactics. I mean, that would game that would make the game a lot more interesting on the different uh, difficulty levels. Oh, there's one here. <gasps> I found an Easter egg! Woo! It was in my little secret area, which Ron recently uh, exposed on one of his videos. Uh, okay. What? <laughs> oh, it's a dispenser. Good. I'm gonna need that. Convenient. So yesterday, uh, Caitlin and I uh, finished the courtyard in front of the town hall. Um, so we plant, put a bunch of plants and uh, extended the path over to there. So I think it looks good now. It's um, not that flat area with a bunch of uh, junk in it. So I'm heading to RID 
and I see something on top of my wireless uh, transceiver up there. <laughs> I'm wondering if that's a uh, uh, an Easter basket. So I'm gonna go up and check that. I missed it before. I was wondering if there was one on the roof, but I didn't go check. Yeah, roof access is through the drone research area. Ah, close enough. Ah, oh, but these are slabs. Oh no! Okay. Ooh, there's two in this one. I'm curious. Yeah, it's a dispenser facing down. Oh, and you... Oh. Uh-oh. So I'm going to leave this one here in case someone else... <gasps> Ooh, in case someone else finds it. I almost busted my ceiling there. All right, so I found what looks like a secret room round spawn. In this room, your alliance is declared. It's apparently a... <laughs> I'm not gonna show where this is. This is a secret room. It's a secret room uh, that has not been released yet. Alright, so I was just collecting some wool and it looks like I found another Easter basket in the sheep farm. Uh, so I've found three so far. Not sure if Ron added more baskets, because he was on. Uh, and he said he was refilling baskets. So it has come to my attention that uh, other members of the realm are using stealth technology as well in order to try to find my uh, secret archives. Um, so, to combat this, I've developed countermeasures, um, which will, I, will, I will go over right now. So, first countermeasure, um, I myself can use, when I'm heading to my archives, I can use my own uh, stealth technology. Now, that may not work all the time. So, or I might not have it handy. So my other alternative is to use the end as a bounce point. So let me demonstrate. So say uh, someone is following me, or I suspect someone is following me, and I don't have an invisibility potion, um, and they are invisible. I can't find them. I don't know where they are. Um, I do have spectral arrows, so if I could locate them, I might be able to identify them and uh, highlight them with a spectral arrow. That is extremely difficult, and those are uh, very expensive. So, say someone is following me invisible. What I can do is this. Head to the end, right now. Alright, so now that I'm in the end, let's head back to the portal back to the overworld. All right, so here's the portal back to the overworld, and now I've have, I have, uh, come back to the overworld. Uh, I'm in a super secure location at this point. Um, nobody will ever find this place. Um, and from here, I mean, anyone who comes back to the, through the end portal will end up at their own bed. So uh, this is a super secure location. From here, I can head to my archives without fear of being followed. Uh, so that is my new technique for uh, avoiding a tail, or uh, losing a tail, uh, even if they're invisible. Alright, so I've returned from my safe house. Um, I'm planning on setting up a network of safe houses with beds in them so I can sleep in any one I want. They'll be spread all around the realm so that uh, I can change it uh, periodically. Um, so that even if someone finds one, uh, they won't be able to track me as I return from the end and head off to my uh, secret archives. So um, 
I have intelligence that there is a spy in the realm. This is why um, I have need for uh, higher operational security. And um, so I intend to uh, keep this in effect until the spy is identified and dispatched. Uh, so this has been Director Box at uh, RID, the Realm Intelligence Division. Thanks for watching. Bye.